Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What Ted Says, where it's always time to get a fatter wallet and get a bigger net worth. Now, who during this coronavirus time has not complained about somebody getting an Amazon package on their doorstep every day? When you look at your credit card, you're thinking, I spend a lot of money on Amazon. Well, guess what? You can shop on Amazon, but you don't have to spend what you're spending today because inside of this episode of What Ted Says, I'm gonna teach you the six sneaky tips that Amazon does to separate you from your wallet, and I'm gonna show you how to put more money right now in your wallet so you can spend money on other things that you enjoy and not just Amazon. Step inside and learn more about the six sneaky tips that Amazon uses to separate you from your wallet. So even within the categories that Amazon chooses, it may choose things like electronics that you would like, household goods that you will like, but it will not serve you every single category that Amazon has because it knows based upon your shopping and your browsing pattern, which areas you look at the most. Once you click one of those buttons, it's gonna take you into a section and actually show you different things. Remember this, one of the big tricks that Amazon uses is something called sponsored ads. Yes, this is part of the way that Amazon makes money. So whenever you're shopping something, let's just say it's something simple like a pair of headphones, not only look at the top because that's where the sponsored ads will be, but make sure you scroll down the screen because you may in fact be able to get a better price and not click on that sponsored ad. Tip one in here, Amazon's AI is smarter than you. The second thing that Amazon does is they get you to buy a Prime membership. Now you would be thinking with the membership, I'm going to have savings and discounts, but on average, Prime members spend two and a half times more than non-Prime members. Now, it's just not using that membership, but it unlocks you onto other things that make you think you're saving money when in fact you're spending more money. So we know that Amazon bought Whole Foods. Well, Amazon now gives you an app with Whole Foods that you can go in and it will give you a discount on some Whole Food items. Now you never had that before, but discount off of what? If something was marked up two or 300% and you get a 10% discount, you really didn't save that much money. And the biggest thing that Amazon does to get you to spend more money is they basically do one day delivery or in some cases they can do ultra fast delivery when it comes to groceries. And by doing these two things, it actually gets you to spend more money because in a Pavlovian way, you can salivate at your house knowing that that package is gonna be there tomorrow. And we need that because we often have so many negative things that are happening in our lives. It's kind of fun. It is like our birthday to have that package show up the next day. Prime membership also used to be $99 and now it's $119. And just like Netflix, you will see this every year or two go up to maybe $129 or $139 because Amazon uses something called the boil the frog theory. And this simply means with their analytics, if they can raise prices on their existing 100 plus million Prime customers, by $20 and a million customers cancel, the net gross revenue to the company is so much more than losing those million customers. So they do this strategically, but by getting you for Prime, they're constantly increasing their revenue because they increase that Prime price, plus they're getting you to spend more money with the membership. The third sneaky tip that Amazon uses is the subscribe and save mentality. We know things that we use in our house all the time, and sometimes we don't know what we want, which is why we go to the grocery store, we randomly bring home some Pepperidge Farm cookies, or we bring home some type of ice cream that we've never had before. But Amazon's really, really smart, because they not only know what you buy, they know when you buy it, and they know how often you buy it. So what happens is Amazon might give you 5% off of an item. In this case, I'll show you something here that I was buying Numa electrolyte drinks, and what Amazon did is they said, if I agreed to sign up and subscribe and basically buy this over the next year, I would get 10% off. Now I'm thinking in my head, I'm saving 10%, but the reality is they just got me to spend more money by locking me in for a year. Now we'll tell you, you can cancel anytime that you want, but normally when we put things on autopilot like this and it goes on our credit card, very, very infrequently, unless our financial situation changes or something dire in our situation happens, we usually don't change it. So here's what it looks like on the screen. Here's the Numa drink. You'll see in the upper right-hand corner, 
that there is a 5% save if I purchase now by buying a whole case, but if I decide to get a 10% save and I agree to do this on a subscription basis, I'm thinking to myself, no longer am I paying $25 for a case, but now I'm only paying $22.50. But what Amazon has locked in is that predictable recurring revenue. And the more household items they get me to buy this way, the more stable the revenue is of their company. So this is the trick that they use to save and subscribe. Sneaky tip number four is that you should become a camel. <clears throat> a what? Amazon doesn't always tell you how they price surge. So a lot of people heard about price surging when it comes to Uber, but the truth is Amazon does the same thing. They're constantly changing their pricing all the time. By simply going to the website camelcamelcamel.com, <clears throat> you too can put in a price history tracker that will alert you when you're getting the best price on that particular product because like I said, sometimes it surges and sometimes it goes down. Amazon has very much learned from what QVC and Home Shopping Network have done. And sometimes they'll put something underneath it that says only two items left. Do you believe that there's only two of those hair brushes or those hair dryers left? No, they do that because subliminally it creates that concept of you missing out on that product or FOMO, fear of missing out. And you'll actually wanna purchase that item because you see there's very few of them left and you're not really watching the price. This is a classic way that Amazon gets you in a sneaky tip to buy more stuff and spend more money. Number five sneaky tip is that you don't have to close your document out like you would on Microsoft Word. Wait a minute, Ted, what does that mean? It simply means that if you're working on a Microsoft Word document, what the computer will typically ask you is, do you wanna save this document before you exit it? And you'll either click yes or no. But when it comes to online shopping, and I really wish it was, this would change, but I don't think that the laws will, is Amazon can take you to an item and you can immediately purchase with one simple click. And because you purchase that item with one simple click, there's no second person saying, is this something you really wanna buy? Is this something that you need? Is this something that you can afford? One thing you might wanna to do to yourself is make sure that you put things in the cart first, and then sometimes give yourself 24 hours, especially if you're making large purchases. I'm not talking about buying cereal or toilet paper, but if you're making large purchases, ask yourself those acid test questions. Do I need it? Do I want it? And can I afford it? And sneaky tip number six that Amazon does to get you to spend more money is simply this. They actually ask you to pay for an episode or a year of a given show you're watching so you don't have to watch those damn commercials. A great example of this is that when Mad Men left Netflix, one of the places that you can see it is on IMDB, which is inside of Amazon Prime. Now, if you wanna watch Mad Men, which I think is seven seasons, you can watch it and you can watch commercials, but what's going to happen is those commercials will get annoying and then more annoying. And simply for a small purchase of just $7, you can actually make those commercials go away. The beauty about it is that you don't even have to be on the Amazon website because your Amazon Prime account that you'll see on your TV screen is still linked to your overall account, which means if you just click that button, you'll actually make the commercials go away. And now Amazon got you to spend another $7. Now, that may not seem like a lot of money, but consider the fact that if 10 million customers do that, you do the math about how much more money that will create to Amazon's bottom line. As in every episode of What Ted Says, what are we here for? We're here for to help you get a fatter wallet and a bigger net worth. And how do you do that? You learn how to be a smart shopper. Now, I want you to put some comments in there as you go through here. What's your smart tip that you use when you shop on Amazon that our other viewers here on What Ted Says, how can they do better with their money? And as always, if you watch this whole video, click subscribe because if you like this one, you're probably gonna like a lot of other ones on our YouTube channel and always press that notification button right there so you can get these right in your inbox when they pop up. I put out content for you every single Monday and every single Friday on all sorts of topics, mostly personal finance hacks, but I'm gonna give you a flavor of entrepreneurship because I've created a lot of successful businesses. I'm gonna show you social media hacks that will save you time, but then again, time is money, and of course, we're gonna do some fun shit every once in a while just to be able to make you laugh.